morning, Mr. Highway Mob. Good morning, Shannon. Got you a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. No way. Yeah. For real? Yeah. Yo, <laughs> what's up? Now get the camera, get the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, on that note, today we are doing some test pipes on Dre's G37. Uh, I already know it's gonna be a pain. I've already watched some videos and I'm not hyped to get that devil bolt, but I brought about 34.75 uh, extensions. So sure. we're, gonna, we're gonna be trying to get to that. I got some PB blaster and uh, hopefully I'm gonna do it the easiest way to help you guys in case you do the exact same thing. But basically, this car's gonna just sound more of like a trumpet, right? No, it's gonna sound less like a trumpet. I don't know. I don't know what test pipes do. I'm, it's just exhaust, so. so essentially, there's a, there's a fat ass hole in my cat. I look horrible, I just woke up, I'm sorry guys. Um, but there's a, there's a fat hole in my cat from scraping through it, because I'm only exhaust low. Um, so there's like a fat exhaust leak under the car. So we're replacing the test pipe, so hopefully we can get some, some better sound. Sounds like crap right now. Word, so I'm gonna grab the PB blaster. We're gonna soak those bad boys down, get some tunes going. Let me drink my little coffee this morning and, uh, and then we'll get to it. All right, we're underneath the car. Um, I used some PB blaster to uh, hopefully break these a little bit loose uh, before I start getting to them. But you can see here we've got the test pipe. Um, this is the bolt on top. You've got one on the flip side right here at the bottom and then you've got the devil bolt on the other side so um, what I did with the PB blaster actually went uh, through here through where the wheel well is hopefully you can see that and um, I sprayed that down so I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get to these yet um, right here on this one I think I'm going to try and just take a 14 ratcheting wrench uh, break that loose this bottom one, I might be able to go through this um, rear sub or this uh, front subframe and loosen that one, and then uh, we'll just have to work with the double bolt and the fuse. So it's gonna be the same thing on the other side, and then um, and yeah. So I'm gonna try getting these out. Hopefully, not too much of a pain. Might have to finagle my way in there and, and get a little uh, get a little strength on those bad puppies, but. Alright guys, let me show you. So we're, we're, we're gonna do this right here. Alright, and then uh Yeah, so this is the horn. You press it go beep beep. Um Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching our tennis zip ties. <laughs> Alright, so I actually got the driver's side um done already. I'm gonna show you how to do it on the passenger side, but I honestly I uh, the devil bolt was probably the easiest thing uh, to get to. And let me tell you why. So, uh, it's gonna be a 14, right? Well, it is super tight to get this in there. Um, you're gonna have to go from the bottom, basically reach around and, well, the other way, and then put it on. So, I put this on first, and then uh, steering rack's kind of in the way. So luckily, I brought this impact or this uh, half-inch extension that has a little. Uh, it's it's not a wiggle adapter, but it gives it room um, to wiggle just a little bit. So as you can see, when it's on, you can have it on straight, or if you pop it out just a little bit, it actually wiggles. So um, what I did was. Oh, all right. Well. This isn't going to come off right now. So I put the 14 on, right? Made sure that was on. I took this little extension and I put that just like I did from this from underneath the car and I put that in. And then I had Dre from the top use these other two extensions and basically kind of fish pull it and, and guide right onto um, this first extension. <sighs> that gave us a little bit of room. So basically it's going to be pretty much like this all the way down there. That gave us a little bit of room. I had Dre hold on to it. I grabbed a half inch ratchet. And uh, because this didn't break it, I do have my impact, which I tried just at first, but I didn't want to strip it. So I used the half inch, couldn't do it with just the half inch. And I took the um, first part of the jack pull and basically had enough torque to do that. So um, I had this inside the car, basically like this. Put a lot of pressure once it broke free um once i got that initial on it then i just went straight to the impact 
and uh, slowly did that off. So. Yeah, yeah. Put things. All right. So Dre actually works in a bit. Um, we're gonna go first and get this devil bolt out on this side. And I say devil bolt because that's what everyone refers it to. It's such a pain. You have to stack extensions and uh, it's just not fun. So once we get that uh, out, I will show you guys how to do the bottom other sides. And then from there, it's just putting everything back on, so. Also, you don't need to have your bumper off. Yeah, yeah, all this, it's uh, in construction. Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to cop an IPO kit, so stop playing with me. All right. Boy, got him on <laughs> Boston's boy. He sold his three pieces KFs, by the way. So the uh, these aren't actually mine. So, but every every G37 needs to have Boston's touch the car. That's how you make it a G37. You actually have a G35 until you put these on. So that's why that's why I have them. That's why I have them. Yep, that's pretty much it. Hey, we got any uh, keys on the on the next wheel setup? Cause the KFs are gone. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Boom, diggly damn. This side is already done. So just like I did on that side, basically put the 14 on, put that swivel extension on, and then had Dre feed it in through here. And then, uh, yeah, all we did was take the half inch with the breaker bar extension and uh, break it free. And it came right from there. So um, yeah, once it was free, basically I just took off that half inch and then put the Milwaukee on, as you can see, and loosened it. So that side is already done. The two devil bolts are out. Now, um, I just have to take off the other two, which hopefully, not jinxing myself, this side will be easier. This side, you've got the steering rack in the way. Um, you've got some other little stuff in the way down there, but I will show you guys how to take those other two off, um, and it should not be that hard. Then, putting everything back together might be a pain, uh, just because that devil bolt trying to feed it through, but um, I think I could feed it through with my hand and then basically just do the opposite. Use this, use the half inch, tighten it down as much as I can, and then uh, maybe smoke it down with the impact just a little bit on a low setting so it doesn't so it doesn't strip. But yeah, take off your intakes. I promise it will make it way easier. And then, um, oh, also, food for thought. Uh, I took this off and I actually put it in right here to brace. So with the extension sticking out all the way like this, if you go to try and uh, loosen it, basically all of those extensions are gonna pull and twist and you're not gonna be seated on that bolt correctly. So, especially cause that's padded, I stuck that down in there and it basically gave the extension something to lean on so that the extensions were as straight as possible and I think that's also why it made it so much easier to break. So, now drink a little coffee, get some tunes going and uh, Onto those other two bolts. Hopefully this is helpful so far. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying the content. I'm probably pretty dirty already. The rest of me is dirty already at least, but hey, it's the price we pay for owning dumb cars, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yo, we're gonna get the Simply Hotels for $151. All right, hey, you heard it first. Simply clean, although it's not official this year, we're still gonna be mobbing the strip. We're still gonna be with the boys. All the builds are gonna be out there, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna do another vlog and probably another cinematics and stuff. I don't know. Hopefully you guys liked the last one. Of, go of course, that was, uh, you know, when the vlog was first starting up, we got a lot more, a lot more knowledge on editing and filming and stuff so far, so. You like when I hit those pops when I leave your house, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> all right so it's kind of tight underneath this car but you can see my setup right here i've got the impact a long extension and then again that swivel oh that swivel extension with the 14 on it came in clutch so basically there's going to be one bolt uh that i showed you on the other side that or i guess one nut that is going to be oh that is going to be basically right through there Let's see. Oh, can we focus? Can we, oh, there we go. So right there, you've got a stud sticking out that has a bolt on it. Um, you are not gonna be able to go directly straight because the, uh, the actual bodies of the car gets in the way. So again, if you have, whether it be a little, um, 
swivel adapter or if you have one of these um, swivel extensions uh, honestly I don't even know what these are called but it came in clutch it gave just the right amount of angle to where I could get to that bolt and then basically hold the impact um, right here and then broke it free again I have it on the brake free um, setting it basically puts a lot of torque right off the bat and then once it starts moving it slows it down uh, so that you're not stripping anything but that's how I get to that one and let's do the last bolt and we're back so what I did for this last bolt is I've got my half inch ratchet got a 14 on the end and if you can see right Oh, hold up. All right, if you can see right there, we've got the last of the nuts. So, um, the nut honestly isn't that hard to get to. It's just a uh, pain trying to, you know, get it loose enough to where you can either finger it off or what I use is, oh, what I use is this thing. It's not, it's not uh, for an impact, but it's just enough pressure to where if it's not coming off with your fingers, but it is still loose. Um, this basically, you know, puts a little pressure and helps it out. So, um, what I did was basically we put this on, right? So the half inch is on, and you've got this tiny little space to work through and there's not gonna be much pressure. So right now it actually is is right where you want it. So it's gonna be just enough pressure to where you can push down right here, but as you can tell, it's not enough um, to go up another notch to where you can pull it down like this, right? So what you have to do is take it off, um, move it. You see those clicks? Um, you move it a few clicks, you put it on, if it's, if it's, you know, sitting like this, well, if it's sitting like this, of course you're not going to be able to put pressure, it has to be more, it has to be up like this. So you basically have to keep taking it on, uh, or putting it on, taking it off, until, and, and doing a few clicks at a time, basically until it, it, uh, is loose enough. So it's not that much of a pain. Um, this side's definitely easier because I, I had to pull down, uh, to loosen. Compared to the other side, you have to push up. But yeah, so that's what I did. And I got it just loose enough to where I'm actually gonna throw this on real quick. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So, well, it's kinda hard to show you real quick, but basically it's not loose enough to where I can get it with my fingers, but it is just loose enough for this little thing to to do its job. So, let's see if I can set you up. All right, now. And she's off. So, Boom, she's off. So that is actually all of the bolts now on that test pipe. And what you're gonna wanna do um, to take off these cats, so the other one I actually took off because Dre wanted to see it. Well, the white pipe flexes just a little bit, but if you just loosen the two nuts that are right there on that Y pipe, you're not gonna be able to, to basically pull it back just enough. So these are already loose. Um, pretty much finger loose uh, right here on this cat. I just put it on so it's not wiggling around when I'm trying to uh, actually take it off from the bolts up here. But now that those are off, um, I'll finish just uh, loosening these up. And then, yeah, basically what I'm saying is if you wanna take one or both the cats off, you have to take off all four, the two bolts over there and the two bolts over here on the Y pipe uh, so that the Y pipe can basically flex for the cat. So. I'm going to loosen those up real quick and take that off. Then everything else is basically putting it back together. All right, now that these test pipes are off, check these cats out. So, of course, Dre 
V36 Dre is a low boy and uh, yeah, didn't tuck his exhaust or anything. I mean, I don't really know how much you can you can tuck the exhaust on this unless you're doing oval exhaust and that's expensive. But um, yeah, here we go. These things are, uh, yeah, no words on that. Even if, uh, even if you didn't have an exhaust leak here, uh, ground flat, well, you got some fat boy holes right there. And uh, same with that one. This O2 sensor um, is salvageable. This O2 sensor is destroyed, which, I mean, he already knew that. Uh, so maybe we'll, we'll end up rewiring another O2 sensor down the road. Um, but yeah, I will need to take these off and at least put them back on the other test pipes so that uh, there's no exhaust leak. Well, hopefully no exhaust leak. You can tell, yes, these are used. These are uh, Megan Racing test pipes. These, I believe these were Dre's and then Omar had them on his car for a little while on his uh, 350 and then now Dre has them back. So they're going on. Uh, hopefully no exhaust leaks out of these ones for a little while and hopefully they don't hang down as low. They don't look like they hang down as low, um, at least from where the flange is. Uh, this right here is about, well, it's flat now, but it's about, about even with the flange uh, compared to what these were. These things were hanging down like freaking this much, so. All right, so since Dre's car is basically in the air doing a bunch of maintenance, fixing a bunch of stuff that uh, he wants to fix before he starts mobbing again, we are gonna have to finish this Monday. So let me explain to you why. Here on the stock uh, test pipe, you've got your, I don't even know, your stud, I guess that you would call it. And then um, on the headers, you've also got one more stud. And on this, on this one right here, you've got a bolt that basically threads through. So these headers that Dre has now, there are no threads on any of these holes and there's also no stud right there. So we will be using the one stud that comes from the header and uh, we'll go through here that we just put a nut on, but then these other two holes will have nothing. So we're gonna have to pick up um, basically two bolts, two washers, two nuts um, for these right here. And then uh, same thing with where it connects to the Y pipe. These have built in uh, studs on them and these don't so we're gonna have to get two bolts two nuts two washers for there so basically four nuts four bolts four washers is what we're gonna need to get so Dre's busy today I've got some other errands I need to run and um, basically maybe if I'm out and I have to get some stuff for my car I might just get those bolts and nuts washers this weekend plan on finishing it Monday honestly the install should be the easiest part knock on wood because getting them out wasn't that hard um and then yeah that's basically it the the hardware that uh hooks those up to the y pipe and the headers is all that we're missing so uh when you guys see this it'll be like two seconds later catch in a bit welcome back we're back at Dre's house uh, for another day to finish up the test pipes. As I explained before, I had to get hardware. Um, he was doing work and stuff and we just, we couldn't get to it. So came back a few days later and I picked up some hardware and we were ready to put this stuff back together. So here we got a hex head. Um, this is 3 8 by 16 uh, thread pitch and a locking washer, which is gonna go on the far side and then we've got a locking nut. So this will be holding together the, uh, ex or the test pipes to the Y pipe, as well as the test pipe to the headers. Um, I got eight of these, it's four for each side. So you've got two here, two here, and there is one stud, I believe it is the inside one, that actually comes out of the headers and that attaches straight to this, which will reuse the bolt from, actually the nut from uh, when we took it off. So it's so the hardware we picked up and about to get start getting getting cooking on throwing this stuff together. So yep, yeah, let's get it in. Shout out my barber, first of all. See that shade? Dang. 
Anyways, uh, you're so. Looking at the screen, you're not even looking at the lens. Welcome, welcome. Okay, let me look at the lens. Welcome back to the channel. Don't don't touch the camera. Don't no, touch the look. camera. Stop. I got it. No, this. Now you can't fucking. No, I need to see myself. No, don't. What am I looking at now? A camera? The lens. You look at the lens. All right. Okay. All right. Well, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> welcome back, guys. Got Logan. Got Logan here. See, I can't see what I'm pointing at. Welcome back, guys. Got Logan here. You know what I'm saying? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so we are, we're wrapping up here the test pipe install on this 2008 G37 Sport. Uh, let me show you guys what happened here. Um, I'm pretending to be like Logan. Um, you know what I'm saying? We got everything back on. Uh, you know, we, we uh, and then uh, after that, then we came over here and we did this one. And then, uh, yeah, and so, yeah, that's it. Um, it's done. We're not, we, we turned it on, but I have a, I have a hole in my, I'm too dark, bro. We turned it on, but I have a hole in my Y pipe, so it doesn't sound the greatest right now. Um, so we're gonna get that replaced, and then, and yeah. So, um, how do you do this? <laughs> this is so cringy. I feel like I'm talking to myself. I feel like I'm talking to myself, so I don't need to correct myself because it's like I'm talking to myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah I don't know how you do this. Anyways, I follow me on Instagram, 336J. Um, new build. Stop trying to take the camera off me, son of a bitch. Um. <clears throat> Uh, new things coming, you know, rap, some extra stuff. Are you just sitting there judging me? Yeah. <laughs> Down <and> good. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, we're finishing up the G37 test pipe install. Um, there is a hole in his Y pipe, so it is still pretty loud. I'd show you guys, but the babies are inside sleeping, and we're not trying to wake them up right now. Um, I didn't show you putting them back together just because the bolt and nuts and and uh, lock washers that I got <laughs> the bolts and the bolts and hardware that I got um, I just basically tightened with my hand and then once I needed to use the lock washer I just used a wrench and tightened them all back together putting them on is the easy part getting them off is where you have to figure out you know how to fit something up there uh, using torque and um, trying to put the pressure to actually break the nut off so Putting it back together was super easy. And then um, the way that we, you know, put the top ones on, again, we took off the intakes, just put a long extension with a wiggle extension at the end. Um, I held the backside of the washer, I mean, of the uh, bolt, and then Dre used the impact here to tighten down the nut. Um, but everything's, everything's tight, uh, down pipe, uh, well, actually not down pipe. The uh, test pipes are on. And um, yeah, let me know how you guys like these uh, daily little vlog install type videos. So it's not something big, it's not a big project, but it's the little things that we're installing. You know, sliding over might take a day or two, but you know, the day to day things, all the maintenance and stuff. If you guys like these videos, let me know down below. Let's get a thumbs up, subscribe. hit the subscribe button, and uh, stay tuned for more content. We got crazy build stuff, and I got videos lined up to release to you guys. So catch you on the next one.